All right, so we have, um, how, ma- how many of you have done the Cleveland Heart Lab blood, had, had their blood drawn here? Raise your, raise your hands, yes? Well, we have some breaking news uh, here at TedMed. I just heard that more than 500 of you, I guess, have done this. Um, it, you can do it upstairs. I'll tell you about that in a minute. We've got the results of over 335 of you. Um, Dr. Mark Penn is going to come up for a minute. Where's Dr. Mark Penn? To tell us a little bit about the results. Thanks, Mark. I want to thank TedMed and thank you all for participating with us to bring you IT, Inflammation Testing by Cleveland Heart Lab. What Jake Orville and I did, tried to do when we started Cleveland Heart Lab is really bring to the physician and to the patients an ability to not only define whether you have risk for cardiovascular disease, but where you really are on a risk spectrum. So we're looking at classic risk factors like lipids. We're also looking at inflammatory markers that not only define the, whether you have hardening of the artery, but also define whether your artery is active and at risk for a cardiovascular event, stroke, or a heart attack. So what we found with the 500 of you folks who kindly participated, if we could have the data slide up, is we took a lipid panel, a classic lipid panel, and about 40% of the people here have high cholesterol or a low HDL, good cholesterol, putting you at classic risk for cardiovascular disease. About 28% of you have evidence of an inf- increased high sensitivity CRP, which is really a marker of hardening of the arteries and evidence of vascular disease, but not necessarily the activity of that disease. And about 12% have a high myeloperoxidase or plaque test, which suggests that the vessel wall or the white cells are actually activating against that hardening of the artery and do increase the risk of either growing more plaque or in fact having a cardiovascular event. Wow, so how, how does our cohort of Ted Medsters compare to the general population? Sure, so we've had the privilege to work with multiple executive health groups, and this, not surprisingly, really matches the risk that we've seen in many of the executive health clinics that we do testing. So what would you tell those of us that are at these increased risks to do? Well, we should all be healthy. Uh, we <laughs> should see our physicians, our cardiologists. I'm a cardiologist uh, at Summa Health System in Akron. And we should really recognize that we have traditional risk, but it's also worth noting about half the people who had high risk with active MPO or plaque actually had normal cholesterol levels. So we need to really aggressively determine what our true risk is and then treat because these markers will in fact modulate to aggressive therapy. Great. Well, if you haven't done it yet, I encourage you to go on up to uh, the mezzanine level and you can have your blood drawn. Um, it's, you can also, by the way, if you have done it, you can get your results at igotitattedmed.com. So, Great. thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.